Hi, welcome to Mad Max channel and Merry Christmas. So today we're looking at Retro X. Yes, good old N64 game in front of me. Even so, Golden Eye is better, I do believe. So, Retro X is an Android game uh, program that you can run on mobile phone, TV boxes included. Now, the bonus behind that is, is you can have physical buttons, play with a Bluetooth PlayStation controller or something that works with Bluetooth and feels good in the hands. So, RetroX, what do you do? Copy ROMs onto your micro SD card or any kind of storage medium. You search folders for particular consoles that you want to use on it. Scan them. It will install them. It will do everything automatically. Now, RetroX is a competitor to RetroPie. Obviously, RetroPie being for the Raspberry Pi. But the RetroPie is harder to program, set up, and configure. RetroX is quite easy to do in certain aspects. Now, it's also more stable in most ways. It works pretty much fine. As long as the ROMs have the right names, it will also get the uh, picture art for it automatically. Now, other great thing about RetroX is if you're playing it on the go on your mobile phone and you come home to your TV Android box, it will transfer automatically the save game to the box, which is great. Nothing better than sharing save games across, which is a good point. Now, and how well does it run N64 games? Yeah, the odd occasional frame loss, dip in speed and that, but besides that, it works pretty much fine. So, what kind of consoles can you play? Well, you can even play the PlayStation Portable or PlayStation 1. Yes, the application does support those. Nintendo's... Amigas, Segas, all the Nintendos that you can really think of, Game Boy versions and stuff like that. Uh, DOS boxes and that. How easy is it to control it? Well, if you're using a mobile phone, it does get a bit fiddly because it does copy off the control positions of the controls. Like you can see with this screen, controls are scattered everywhere. But that's bound to happen. This is one of the reasons why it's best to run the games with a controller because then the controller just gets used on each console uh, as the same obviously you can still use a mouse and keyboard if you configure it up like that now the program itself i'll have a link below is about eight odd pounds now it might sound quite a lot but if you consider how much the individual apps itself would cost on uh, the a Google Play Store, you're talking a lot, lot, lot more. Now, RetroPie itself is free, but like I said, it is not as good or as easy to do. Now, I do have a Raspberry Pi free, but I just really did not like the configuration, the instability issues, the downloading the BIOSes, the handling of Linux and stuff like that. If you're going to do a easy retro game setup than a cheap ish tv box as well as retro x is probably the best combination to possibly go for now the tv box which i'm using cost about slightly less than 70 pound which is all fine and fantastic because at the same time you can have all of your TV programs, Kodi, Netflix, Amazon videos, YouTube, you name it, as well as music plays and stuff like that. I mean, Android boxes are very versatile. If you have enough memory space, obviously, why not to have a program like this here? Go back into the past with some game consoles you haven't played. I mean, there's nothing wrong with sticking 10,000 games on one of these Android boxes. Uh, this is what I mean with um, best play the game with physical buttons. I mean, you can 
master it after a while. You can also reconfigure the on-screen buttons a little bit, but it's still not the same as holding a physical controller. How does it handle notoriously complicated games like Star Fox, Stunt Racing, anything with the Nintendo FX chip? Yes, it handles them well. PlayStation games, yeah, they do work, but not what I'll call 100% reliable. Um, there's the odd out texture error with N64 games, but not a lot of emulators manage them without any hiccups. And like I say, if you got the name wrong on the ROM file, it will not load the image. How come it's not loaded up the Tetris one? I'll never know. But that happens. But yes, for £8, highly recommended program. Now, I know this is not the typical thing that I usually upload at the moment, which is uh, modified um, files, but considering got a joint Christmas present put together being an Android TV box I thought it'd be important to bring this up because not a lot of people will know that this program exists because it's not on the Google Play Store you actually have to go on a other website for it sadly but like I say I'll have links for that in Raspberry Pi and the Android TV box I'm using below and I would like to say thank you very much for watching. Do like, share, subscribe, you name it, don't we? It doesn't cost you anything. I will keep things up to date as soon as humanly possible. And, and I'll catch you next time.